We can instigate the movement of electrons within a conductor by supplying energy via an electric field. When an electron moves within a conductor, the nuclei of the atoms, which have positive charge, attract the negative electrons and get in the way. The electrons experience a series of collisions with the atoms in the material, which results in their path being deflected in random directions. This impedes the motion of the electrons. There's a resistance to the electron movement. In the presence of an electric field, despite the continual collisions and random redirections of the electron motion, the electrons will be nudged to drift a little bit in the direction opposite of the electric field. Thus, overall, there is a small electron drift in one direction as the electrons travel through the conductor. If there was no electric field, the electron movements would be totally random, not in any particular direction, so there would be no net current. Interestingly, electron drift, under the influence of an electric field in a conductor, is very tiny, in the order of millimeters of distance traveled per hour. But if the drift speed of electrons is so slow, how does electricity work so quickly to turn on a light? Even though the actual drifting of the electrons in a direction within a metal or material is slow, the forces felt by the electrons due to the electric field happen at almost the speed of light. The forces felt by the electrons via the electric field are like a pressure that is trying to push the electrons forward in one direction. All the electrons in the conductor feel the force of the electric field almost all at once, including electrons present in the filament through a light bulb. Ultimately, to keep electrons moving in one direction, it requires energy to be continuously applied to them, typically in the form of an electric field. This field can be set up as an applied voltage from an energy source like a battery or even a distant power station. When electrons travel, the collisions of the electrons in the atoms of the material transfer energy to the material in the form of heat. Thus, the material increases in temperature and energy is lost in the form of heat. This hindrance of movement and loss of energy is what is called electrical resistance. Additionally, the resistance of a conductor increases with increasing temperature, since the atoms within the material vibrate and move around more to further resist the motion of the electrons.